Today we will take a look at how to animate a head turn and for that I'll be using my berry blue character here. Now you all should have this character set up already uh, if you've been following my advanced animation series. Now because we'll be animating a head turn I won't be needing the character's body so let's go ahead and turn that off. Inside my berry blue folder here I'm just going to turn off all the layers except the head layer like so. Okay, let me close this all back up and this is what we have. Now let me go over to my sets here where my controls are and let's begin. So firstly, I'm going to make sure that I'm on frame one and we don't move our heads in a straight line. We tend to move most of our bodies in an arc. That means that you need to keep the principles of animation in mind. And the principles that we are going to keep in mind is arcs as well as ease in, ease out and, you know, timing as well. So let's get started. Now I'm going to change the keyframe type to constant because I'll be working on my key poses first before I go in and uh, make it smooth. Okay. So with that selected or with that changed, I'm just going to turn on my anime button here and I'm going to click on all sets here to highlight my bones. And I'm going to select only the head bones here because remember we aren't working with the rest of the body for this particular video. Now with all those selected, I'm just going to move left, then move back to the right, right, then left again, up and down. And that is just to make sure or ensure that we have our keyframes added for every individual bones here. Now if I go to all keys, we can see the keyframe here, but you won't see it here. Okay, and that's because we're focusing only on a portion of the body. Now with that initial keyframe setup, I'm going to select all keys and we want to duplicate this keyframe. So I'm going to hold on shift and just left click and drag out that keyframe there. And I'm going to work on my second pose. So I'm going to go back to all sets here. And uh, what I want to do is my second pose, I want this to, well, I'm actually going to focus on what the last pose will be. So I'm going to go the pose to pose route and that's a principle of animation. Let's continue. So I'm going to move this over to the right like so. And I want a piece of this thing to show right there. So I'm going to move his face like that. Let me go back to all keys here. Well, let me select these. And I'm always of the mind that maybe I don't add the keyframes. All the keyframes, I always go back to just move them, move the points, the bones again, just to make sure that the keyframes are added. Uh, but that's not necessary. I believe it was already added. So let me go back to all keys. So now we have two poses. We have this one and this one character is moving in a straight line and that's exactly what we don't want. Now I'm going to go between these two points here and I'm going to shift left click and drag out another keyframe there. And for this pose, I want the head to go down. So let me move the face down here. All right? Remember we're trying to create an arc for the characters to turn his head. So that is down. Let me go ahead and take a look at what we have now. So up, down, over, up, down, over. All right. So I don't want the character to turn his head diagonally like that, because if we, when we add our ease in, ease out keyframes, it will look like that. But I want it to look almost circular or curved. So I'm going to come here, going to hold on shift and left click to duplicate that keyframe go back to all sets here and I'm going to move this over slightly like so like that go back to all keys see what we have so now we have four keyframes with our character moving like that okay bam 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 all right now to sell the idea even more I'm going to go back to all sets here I'm going to move when the character is looking down I'm going to move the head bone down slightly like so. Maybe that's too far. Uh, you'll have to judge how far you want it to go. But well, let me go back here and see what we have. So up, down, and then when it comes here, I want it to still be down. So I'm going to go like this. And I think I'm gonna go down a bit more, just a bit further than the previous keyframe. So it comes like this, down, down, and then up. 
right? So that should give us somewhat of a curve. Now we're still not done. I'm gonna go back to all sets here so I can see all my bones. And when it comes down first, I wanna rotate the head slightly to the left here. So we're getting that swing, that curved swing. Okay, so with that now done, I'm again, I'm just gonna select all these. <laughs> Remember, this is not necessary, it's just, I'm always paranoid um, when it comes to adding my keyframes here in Synfig. So let me go here. So we have that, and we'll come over here. Uh, I'm going to, on this keyframe, I'm going to have this turned slightly to the left like so. And again, the, however, the distance is up to you. And by the way, always use a reference. It's good to hold up a mirror and do a head turn and uh, video yourself doing that and use that as a reference. I, I don't have a reference here. I'm just working based on my experience, okay? So this not, might not be the best head turn ever, but the principles that I'm teaching you is what you should keep in mind, okay? Let me go here to all keys, come over here. And uh, let me play this back to see what we have. So even though it's choppy, we have our keys down. And uh, when it comes here, like so, I want the head to turn as well. I want it to be turned like that. So we have this, this, and then I'm going to duplicate this keyframe and want to reposition the head to make to, well, we want to rotate it back into position here to make it straight like that. Okay, so let me play that back to see what we have. Let me press play. And that is looking good. Now, I'm not worried about the ears. Obviously, when the character turns, ears would come up here. But it, depend, it also depends on the, the style that you're going for. I'm not worried about the ears here. So I'm going to leave it like that. It's looking just fine to me. So we have our head turn there. So now, once we are done laying down our keys, uh, we can change out the keyframe type. So I'm gonna right click, ease in, ease out, right click, ease in, ease out, right click, ease in, ease out, right click, ease in, ease out. So now, let me play this back and look at that. It is looking really good. We have a very nice um, head turn there. Now again, it's not perfect. I would have to spend a bit more time to make it perfect, but um, the key thing here is that the character maintains its volume. Um, it's a, it feels like a solid object. And by that, I mean it feels like it's in three-dimensional space, even though it's a 2D character. So those are the things that you have to look out for. Again, those are principles of animation. Now, yeah, I could spend some more time on this to make it even better, but I think you get the idea. Um, I'm not liking the curve, so I would spend some more time getting a better curve there. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that. Now, uh, two more things that you could add is squash and stretch. So when the character comes down here, you could have the character's head squash. And then when it's coming up here, you could have it stretch a bit before coming back to its normal state here. Okay, now I'm not going to add that for this video, okay? But just know that you could add that touch to make it even better. But one thing that I'm going to add is a blink. So that will help to sell the idea even more. Okay, so along with squash and stretch, you can add a blink. So when the character is looking down here, that's when I'll start the blink. So with my controls turned on here, let me just double click. And I'm gonna select these two and move them slightly to add a keyframe. And I'm going to just move down to a frame. So now I'm on frame seven. And I'm going to move this up to change the shape there. I'm going to move over again to another frame move this up to get another shape there, move down. So I'm just switching out shapes on each frame, like so. Okay, then I'm gonna move down a frame and then I'm going to go backwards here. So I'm gonna open back the character's eyes. All right, I may miss a few um, shapes here, but that is okay, as long as you get the idea. So let me play this back and see what we have. And that is looking okay to me. Yeah. So it's not just doing one thing. It's multiple things to sell the idea that the character, the character's head is indeed turning. So always remember your principles and always spend time animating your character. Okay. Animate each piece, piece by piece, 
and work your way up to the bigger picture okay so the more time you spend it's the is the better your animation will look so i'm liking that i'm liking that so that's it for this tutorial hope you learned something here and i will see you in the next video Thank <laughs> you.